about this. Yeah. So the story is this uh, podcast that hates flat earth. Um, you know, they made fun of it because they just don't understand it. Decided they were going to send a plane in with a banner that says, uh, Research Round Earth. That's a pun on Research Flat Earth. And uh, they love Carrie and Rob or whatever their names are. Um, so we heard about this. They did a press release and uh, we have flat earth people everywhere. So someone in the press let us know. And we got two planes come in ahead of their plane um, with a pro flat earth message. So kind of beat up to the bunch. Uh, all fun and games, good stuff, and, and uh, just getting the word out there. I mean, that's great. And really, when you look at all three planes, they seem to be all from the same source because we really do need to research round earth. I mean, no one really knows the round earth theory. We just believe in it as if it's faith. You know, science has become sort of the new religion. But really, if, it's, if we're not doing the science, if we're not doing the math ourselves, if we're not looking at it ourselves, if we're not being scientific, we're just putting our faith into the new priests, the new priest class of science. And we, didn't, we didn't become flat earthers by researching flat earth. We tried to research the globe. That's how you become a flat earther. You find out that there is absolutely no proof of the globe. Everyone thinks, i got hundreds of proofs. I'm like, can you come up with one? Five years later, have a this morning, someone was saying that it's taught in science that the atmosphere is moving um, not with the Earth, but on its own, free of the Earth, a thousand miles an hour. Is that what is being taught by the, traditional yeah, science? Yeah, they, they don't, traditional science doesn't even know what they're proving. They say that gravity holds the air, it all turns with the Earth, but a summer breeze can push the air left, right, up and down in, uh, in lieu of gravity. Here's what people don't realize. The Earth is spinning at a thousand miles per hour, supposedly, at the equator. The upper level winds would have to be going faster than that just to keep up with the Earth. But at 40,000, 45,000 feet, there's uh, two to 300 mile an hour winds that are outrunning the spin of the Earth. So you think if the Earth was spinning, science tells us that the roughness, the mountains and everything are kind of pushing it like a blender with you. It would it would fade backwards. The upper level winds, for a common thing, you know, for a thinking person, would just fade over backwards. They're outrunning the Earth by two to 300 miles an hour. Just think about that, and that you realize that heliocentric spinning nonsense ball is really is ridiculous. It's weird stuff, people. Uh, Infowars is here asking these questions because while well, we're still allowed to ask these questions, they're starting to outlaw asking questions. They're starting to, at least in social media, at least in the digital world, they're starting to make this all go away. So we, while we still got it, we're here asking questions. We're going to be here all weekend, checking out as much as we can, and report back to you. For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese. Keep it flat. Yes. Keep it flat.